All right, Andy, what makes you a multimedia visual artist? Or what indeed is a multimedia visual artist? Uh, I guess it's someone who um, does more than one thing, I guess. And I do a few different things. Well, uh, I can see it. Um, painting, obviously. Yep. A uh, bit of graphing. Yep. The graphic kind of design stuff. But also sculptors. These, um, these are a few chainsaw sculptors here. Oh, is that a full-size chainsaw or just a... Yeah, electric one. Oh, yeah. And, um... A deadly instrument. So how do you actually afford to do this? I mean, do people pay you to do it or...? No, it's all self-funded, I guess. And taking away hobbies that someone might pay for later on. Do any of them actually end up with financial fruition or...? Yeah, I've um, sold a few paintings in um, exhibitions and that. And you've got some on the internet or something? You're yeah, I've got a few people in America interested in buying a few paintings. But just getting all the... get it all happening is And getting you've... It all happening. You've got some YouTube... you do something on YouTube, yeah, do you? Yeah, I've got some videos. I make um, films too. Got some crazy films up there. Yeah. And a few docos, like a... The clown crawl. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All the, right. Um, annual clown crawl, have you heard of that? No. Oh, but... it's really outrageous. Well, um, how did you end up working in so many fields? Is it just with following hobbies, or how how do you how have you ended up in this situation where you do so many different things as opposed to focusing on one? Just following your interests, I guess. If I get interested in something, I just want to try it out. Yep. I guess. Right, who are some people that you admire? in different fields that you get involved in? Oh, I've got like heroes in each different medium I guess, like filmmaking, it'll be um, Martin Scorsese, uh, Akira Kassara, um, Bim Vendors, he's another great one. Yeah, what like... about really graphing and stuff like that? I mean, is Graffin, that... Banksy, he's one of my heroes in the graphing scene. And the sculpture, Henry Moore, Henry Moore would be a hero. And painting, well, my favourite painting is probably Gagan. But then I'm um, into Kandinsky, Miro, Picasso. Now, you mentioned YouTube earlier. Are there yeah. people on YouTube that you admire? I mean, oh, I don't fully. actually know that much about it. So. Oh, well, you get friends, filmmakers that you like their work. So you, you get them as a friend and you can make video responses. And it's really cool. So what's the difference between YouTube and MySpace? Well... YouTube exists for putting up videos and anything that can be on a video you can put on YouTube but YouTube won't take HTML code and HTML code you can run different things like animations which is yep. another thing I do making like little prankster kind of loops that I just leave like a bombing raid in people's comment boxes and stuff so and you can do everything you can put all your videos and stuff into MySpace and and have a like a blogging kind of situation where you get people to, you can add text and animations next to your blog yep. or your video. What um yeah it's cool. What technology would make things easier for you? I mean it you know is there a dream that high definition camera that'd be your beauty. Yep. If someone said they're gonna buy me something, I'd choose a high definition camera I reckon. And you'd be using that for for filmmaking and like that. Is there any way you can actually, this is a strange question, but yeah. is there any way that this can be considered to give you a regular income or is it all more artistic? Well kind of, it's like picking away the dream I guess, it's a longer range thing than saying going out and swinging a paintbrush or something. Mm. Like a paint, swinging a paintbrush and painting houses or, or painting signs, I do a few signs. That'll give me money immediately. But things like filmmaking, you have to kind of build up a bit of a reputation and get funding or people. Not even. That's what I love about filmmaking these days. You don't need one cent. You can do it for free. Yeah. That's nice. Told him. And you're also doing music, don't you? That's right. So how yeah, do you um? You can write that for a few years. That's where you started yeah. more than yeah. Start well, playing. the first thing I ever did was do drawing and painting and all that. But then I um, got involved with punk rock, which saved me from my um, 
boring and hopeless existence in a living in a boring place with limited opportunities. And when would this have been? What this era was this? was about 1978, 79. Mm-hmm. When um, six pistols exploded across the world. And were you living in Australia then, or? Yeah, this was back in Frankston. Oh, okay. Back living at my parents' place. The spooky town back then. Yeah, it was a little. It was famous for um, having a riot where they freed a drunk person from the police cells. That was what we were famous for. So do you still incorporate the music with your video as well? Yeah, I mean... well that's the great thing about making um, videos. You can put everything together in the one place. Oh, current projects? Are there... Yeah, doing some dub at the moment actually with a um, project with a friend of mine called Stuck Sturms, a selector from Deutschland. Um, banging out something that we call Second World Dub, which um, is coming together good. And we're getting into new technology to kind of take it to new heights. So, yeah, it's interesting. But I do a lot of different styles of music. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's getting there now. Yeah. 